unprecedented chaos, and alarms struck the holy city of Mecca as a bizarre insect plague unleashed havoc. Shocking footage captured the bewildering scenes that unfolded, leaving residents and pilgrims in disbelief. In this video, find out more about this startling event that has shaken Mecca to its core. A video that has become popular on social media shows a disturbing scene where cockroaches are seen attacking Muslims in Mecca. Many of these insects have invaded the Grand Mosque in Mecca, a significant place for Muslims. The video captures the moment believers prayed and suddenly found themselves surrounded by bugs. This unexpected situation caused the prayer to be interrupted, and everyone hurriedly left the area. On Twitter, a caption was shared, suggesting that this event was a form of divine retribution for the perceived harm caused by Muslims worldwide. So what is the actual news about locusts swarm at Mecca? The Grand Mosque in the sacred city of Mecca, the holiest site in Islam, has been invaded by many insects, causing a major problem for local authorities. These insects, identified as black grasshoppers, descended upon Mecca recently, causing disturbances for worshippers at the Grand Mosque. The sight of locusts swarming around lights, clinging to marble surfaces, and even covering praying pilgrims quickly spread across social media, prompting the city to take action. In response to this infestation of what some called night cockroaches, the Holy Mecca municipality issued a statement. They announced they had deployed 22 teams comprising 138 individuals and 111 devices to tackle the problem. The teams focused on areas where the insects breed and gather, such as sanitation areas and water drains. The municipality assured everyone that they were doing everything possible to eliminate these insects to ensure the safety of the guests of the holy site. Although locusts can be a major nuisance, they are not known to transmit diseases to humans, nor do they bite or sting. Hazal bin Muhammad al-Zafar, the head of the Plant Protection Department at King Saud University's Faculty of Food and Agricultural Sciences, explained that these field cockroaches belong to the Grillidae family which is more closely related to grasshoppers and crickets than to domestic cockroaches. He advised locals against consuming or selling these insects, emphasizing that they do not spread diseases. Al-Zafar also suggested that the recent rains may have contributed to the swarming, which is a natural occurrence. It was estimated that around 30,000 locusts had descended upon Mecca, but larger swarms could reach hundreds of thousands. Despite the scientific explanation, many social media users couldn't help but associate the event with religious significance. The motif of locust swarms as a form of divine punishment is present in the Abrahamic traditions, which include Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. A verse from the Quran, chapter 7, verse 133, recounts the plagues that afflicted the people of Egypt, including floods, locusts, lice, frogs, and blood. These were seen as clear signs. Yet the people remained stubborn. The plagues eventually compelled the Egyptian pharaoh to release the Israelites, allowing the prophet Musa to lead them to the promised land. Every year, millions of Muslims undertake the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca, which is mandatory at least once in a lifetime as one of the five pillars of Islam. Additionally, the Umrah pilgrimage in Mecca can be performed at any time of the year. The significance of Mecca as a holy site makes it a central destination for Muslims worldwide. Locusts swarm in Quran and Bible. The Quran mentions insects only twice, while the Bible has 36 references. In the Quran, two verses mention insects. One is verse 133 of chapter 7, which discusses a flood and several pests, including locusts. These signs were shown to sinful and arrogant people. The other verse is verse 7 of chapter 54 which describes people emerging from graves, appearing like swarming locusts with humiliated eyes. Although the Quran provides limited information about these troublesome insects, the Old Testament of the Bible takes it to another level. For example, the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 15, portrays the destructive power of locusts, likening them to a consuming fire and a devouring sword. They are said to multiply like grasshoppers and strip the land bare. Nahum chapter 3 verse 16 mentions how merchants multiply like locusts, stripping the land and moving on. The book of Exodus chapter 10 verse 4 states that locusts will invade the country if someone refuses to release the people. Exodus chapter 10 verse 12 explains that Moses stretched out his hand, causing locusts to swarm over Egypt, devouring all vegetation and crops from previous disasters. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 38 
warns that locusts will consume the seeds sown in the fields, leading to little harvests. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 42 predicts that swarms of locusts will attack trees and crops. These references in the Bible show that the destructive nature of locusts has been known for a long time, causing havoc and devastation wherever they appear. What else is mentioned in the Bible? One of the Bible's most well-known stories about locusts is found in Exodus. When Moses asked Pharaoh to let the Israelites escape their miserable life in Egypt, Pharaoh refused. So God decided to show his power and convince Pharaoh by sending ten plagues upon Egypt. The eighth plague was a swarm of locusts. God wanted to demonstrate his authority and make Pharaohs listen to Moses. The plagues were a way for God to say, See, I am the Lord. So before sending locusts, Moses warned the Egyptian leaders about what would happen. If you don't let the Israelites go, tomorrow I will bring locusts into your land. They will cover the ground and devour everything that remains after the hailstorm. They will fill your houses and the houses of all the Egyptians. In the Bible, locusts often symbolize God's anger and the destruction that comes with it. The eighth plague in Egypt is a perfect example of this symbolism. When Pharaoh refused to release the Israelites, God punished the land by sending a swarm of locusts to devour everything in sight. The locusts were a clear reminder of God's authority and the consequences of defying his will. They were a powerful message that showed the Egyptians the might of God and his ability to bring about punishment for disobedience. In addition, the prophet Joel prophesied a great locust plague that would come before the day of the Lord, a time of judgment. These stories of locust swarms in the Bible can be seen as a warning from God, urging people to repent and turn to Him before it's too late. What do locusts represent in the Bible? Swarms of locusts are often seen as a symbol of evil in the Bible because of their ability to destroy crops and property. These outbreaks represent devastation and destruction. In the book of Joel, there is a poetic description of an army of soldiers that invades the world like locusts, similar to the imagery in Revelation and Jeremiah. However, there is also a promise of relief from these difficult times. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 says, I will give back to you the years that the locusts have eaten. This verse brings hope that our spirits will be restored after a period of difficulty and we will experience happiness again. Locust outbreaks can also represent the frustration of loss despite our efforts and the feeling of working without God's blessing. The Bible mentions that if the Israelites disobeyed God, they would sow seeds but harvest little because locusts would devour their crops. This shows the heartache and pain caused by locusts. In another context, the Bible criticizes the materialistic culture of ancient Nineveh, comparing evil entrepreneurs to locusts that consume people's interests and fortune. Their greed is like swarms of locusts that strip the land and then move on. Locust outbreaks are also a display of God's power in nature. They are part of the chaos in God's creation, and humans have little control over them. Despite efforts to control locusts with pesticides, their destructive path cannot be completely stopped. What do these insects mean for the end times? In the 21st century, ancient plagues from the Old Testament reappear in new forms. The COVID pandemic is akin to a devastating plague. Unlike crop-devouring locust swarms, this infectious disease attacks our bodies causing over 300 million deaths worldwide by early 2021. According to Susan Donaldson, James' article, Apocalypse Now, 2008, global catastrophes like earthquakes, cyclones, tornadoes, floods, and even locust plagues occur. Though not necessarily God's punishment, history shows such events disrupt societies. Throughout history, droughts, famines, and water disputes have caused the rise and fall of civilizations. Stephen B. Chapman, an Old Testament professor, highlights the Bible's focus on humanity's connection with the environment. Scholars now recognize the Bible's teachings on human-induced environmental destruction and its relationship to natural disasters. An impending catastrophe is a potential rise in rainfall and moisture due to global warming, creating conditions for locusts to thrive and threatening agriculture and food security. The Locust Plague in Mecca, a call for spiritual reflection. In these uncertain times, as followers of Christ, we can draw solace and guidance from the scriptures. The recent locust invasion during Ramadan and the rainy season prompts us to reflect on the spiritual meaning behind such occurrences. By studying the biblical stories of locust plagues, we can be encouraged to seek God's presence and eagerly await the return of Jesus. 
So what do you think of the attack of locusts and Makkah? Comment below and subscribe for more.